All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol NAKD, Naked Brand Group. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, yesterday I had stated that if it broke through the support, it could be on its way to newer lows. You had that window between obviously the 50 day moving average and the support to make a decision and see based off of your rationalization if the bears or the bulls were trying to reappear or if the bears were actually dominating this now i would like to see anybody's comments because i've never really heard this type of feedback and i'm actually going to be bold about it and i want to go ahead and ask you guys directly and see what you guys have to say but any investor that has been watching my videos on naked brand in the last couple of days have you used clearly these resistance levels and support levels and how many of you made a decision based off of the support level being broken through and seeing it get closer to the 50 day moving average? I would love to see your guys' input there and insight and see what it is that you guys have to say. I mean, it's pretty bold of me to say this. I've never really asked this, but I just want to get some feedback. I mean, how many of you guys saw this as a good resource and something that was helpful? to have a stop loss or take profits uh, before it fell or take a smaller loss than you could have taken due to the fact that you knew where the support was, you knew where the resistance was, you knew where the 50 day moving average was, and you made a decision. Um, I would love to see your guys' input on that on the comments down below. And uh, it would really be great, great feedback for me to be aware of how helpful am I really being um, by doing this because this isn't just about me talking and, and doing a video I, I want to help you guys I want to make sure that I'm helping a lot of people and I know that some people probably saw it and they didn't make a decision but I would love for you guys to also acknowledge okay I saw it it made sense now that I look at the chart and it's making sense and I also want to hear from the guys that actually made a decision based off of what they saw and said you know, this did help me and it didn't make me make the decision right away because you're still an investor that needs to make your own uh, rational decisions, right? Um, you have to do your due diligence. You have to do your research before making a decision. Don't base yourself solely off of one resource. I would love to continue being just one of your resources out of the many resources that you use, but don't base it solely off of what you saw here. But I do want to see the feedback. I would love to hear how helpful the charts are. I hear it all the time and I really appreciate it without asking. But this time I'm being a little bit bold because this is a penny stock. And this one right here was one that was very volatile. And I want to see what you guys have to say. It's going to be great. I love to hear feedback and positive feedback is, is always good. And constructive feedback as well. Like, you know, this and this and I take it all. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. But it doesn't just help me, but it helps other investors and the quality of my videos for the near future. But we saw here Naked Brand fall and it broke through support. Support turned into a resistance. It started to fall, broke through the 50 day moving average. And here we are back at 1670. This is actually slightly below the highest point right right here where it was actually doing this recovery before it had that explosive result of hitting newer highs so we're basically leveled off here at about 17 dollars i mean excuse me 17 cents 17 cents and it broke through that it's sitting at 1670 and we're below the 50 day moving average and this resistance up here in the near future not just in a couple of days or weeks. This is probably the most important resistance. 3287. We're going to have to see how this plays out next week. There's a lot of talks about there's probably a reverse split coming up. I would love for you guys to um, go ahead and confirm that. And I don't know if it's next week or if it's coming up in, in a few days from now. Or when it is, if you guys have those answers and you have that information i would love for you guys to share it down below to help other investors uh, be aware of that so this chart might change in numbers right in the cent range 
and it might turn into like a dollar figure, but the pattern of the chart won't change. It'll stay the same. So this resistance today is 3287. If there is a reverse split, it's going to be another number. But when we look at the chart, it's going to look exactly what we see here, just different numbers. So I want you guys to be aware that whatever that resistance is, this is the most important resistance in the next couple of weeks, months, and over time. This is needing a point of reference that will be needing to be broken through by the bulls. So keep that in mind. Now, our support has changed slightly below the closing price and resistance honestly is the 50 day moving average but if i had to pick out of this whole bearish run i would say one of the hardest times where the bulls were trying to reappear and you can see this right based off the chart this was a hard dip and this was a slight pickup and then it started to fall so when you can see that right there this is where the bulls were trying to reappear so it'd be on this candlestick here it's not officially a resistance level but based off of how the chart reacted and where you can see the bulls trying to pull this back and the bears continue it down that is a good point of reference to keep in mind but ideally here the most important resistance level is the 50-day moving average so that the bulls can get back into bullish territory but before getting there they have some steps to take so for the bulls to get even anywhere closer to the 50-day moving average, they need to break through this resistance. And the 50-day moving average is 22.16. I'd write that down. Super important number. Just keeps jumping around. Can't land exactly on it. But 22.16 is the point of reference that lets us know on what side of the chart we're in. Are we in bearish territory or bullish territory when we're above it? Obviously, right now, we're below it and we're in bearish territory. So for the bulls to even get closer to the 50 day moving average and get over it, they need to break through this first resistance level and this first step, which is 2041. Turn that into a support and break away from it. Now, if the bulls break through 2041, it does not signify that the bulls have gained control over the chart. That's just the beginning catalyst and an indicator for us investors to be aware that if the bulls break through that, they're working their way closer. And if they use it as support to the next resistance, which is ideally the 50 day moving average to cross over into bullish territory. But that is the beginning catalyst. And if that's turned into a support, the bulls can break away from that to reach newer highs. On the other hand, we have what the bears want. And the bears are at 1670 and our support is 1602 if 1602 gets broken through this could be on its way to newer lows starting to hit newer support levels and pull away further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction so i want every single investor to pay close attention to the behavior of the stock this was a big change here and if it's getting further away from the 50-day moving average it could be on its way to newer lows and the next support level would be down here at 1359 at that point right there 1359 and that's about a three cent difference to pay close attention to how the stock's behaving between 1359 and our support here of 1602 and see if the bears are dominating this getting closer to those lower supports or are the bulls trying to reappear and bring this one back up as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you'll watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.